gonna be reviewing uh, the two point alignment that's supposed to be a little more precise or better than a camera. So I've been playing a little bit around, you know, uh, with some jigs that have different shapes and different positions. I've been having a little bit of trouble to position it perfectly. It's not impossible, it just takes a little bit more time. Um, so let me show you what I have here. So I put this jig, I'm using actually my material alignment uh, here to hold it in theory. Uh, this helps everyone to make everything square with the laser. So I just put it on the edge, hold it there to make sure the ruler is straight so I can align this there and I don't need to worry about angles and stuff like that. So right now what I want to do is I'm going to position this on the edge and I'm using one of the jigs that I did on the F1 so I'm gonna do it like that I'm going to come here to the software and I'm going to hit start marking here it is now we have this screen to start marking so vertex 1 so automatically this change to press the button to mark the first location so I'll press the button that's confirmed now we want to move this all the way to the edge in the best of your abilities you're going to want to set this in the next corner let's say is there and you will press this button again and here we go now we have the coordinates recorded so that will give us an area to work so right now this is the jig that we provide with all our jigs you will put this inside that area say it's there so another thing that I recommend to make sure that whatever is on your jig is center move your laser and put it like this for example on one of your items in this case this one to try to see where the center of the middle one is so you can confirm that the red cross is on the center if you want to confirm that with the other one it will be okay this will apply almost to everyone it's like a double check just to make sure so this is fairly center um, might be a little bit better a little bit more towards the right maybe just a tad here that, that seems pretty center but we want to work on the X so this has been already uh, focus. I'm not gonna go through the focus system. You know that you put it on the play, you hit the little button for the focus, and you should be good to go. So let's mark an X over this. Here we go. There's an X. And what we do now is process. Here is the X. We hit start. Now that we hit start, here's the button and the laser so you can start and the laser is start so the two points in my opinion doesn't replace a camera i think it's different it's a different alternative is accurate yes you just need a lot of more double checking to make sure it's right how you want it it will take you a little longer cameras are precise I've been using cameras on the D1 for a long time and let me tell you I did really complicated positioning on the camera they need to be calibrated that's for sure it's not something that you just throw and that's it so this is almost done it's just a quick X on a wooden keychain if you're wondering about my settings I believe I use uh, 30% by 300 millimeter per second and yeah I mean maybe it's like half of a millimeter to the right maybe 
Uh, this can be because there is always a little bit of a wiggle here. Wood, wood materials are not exactly the same all across. They, can, they have some variation, so if you ask me right now, I recommend that two point positioning. I think it's a good alternative. Honestly, uh, it's better than eyeball everything. And absolutely, I I might be using it for a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna say that it's terrible, it's not. I just think that takes way more time in some shapes and some things. Uh, there is always a workaround. You need to learn how to find your center. You need to learn how to find your area. Other than that, once you find everything and you know how to position your materials, the two point uh, positioning works, or twin point positioning works very good actually, very very good. I, I was really skeptical, but I'm happy to say that it's a system that works fairly well. And good news, you can use all the jigs that you already have for your F1 from a live pixel with your twin point positioning and if you have multiple jigs you can have more and more uh, materials done or work done at the same time so as always if you like the video please click subscribe give us a thumbs up and don't forget fire the laser